What's up YouTube, Mr. Lamessi here, and today we are bringing you the hell portion of the shout barb. That is right, you have hopefully mastered or gone through normal, you've gone through nightmare, you've leveled up your character, maybe farmed some Mephisto to find yourself a Viper Magi, or Spectral Shard, or Suicide Branch, or some really nice weapon to go along with it. And now, at this point, you are ready to jump into hell. So... With that being said, let's jump on over. So my character is currently level 51 on the lower side of levels here, right? You could have gone all the way to 70, 74, 75, somewhere around there if you really wanted to in Nightmare. Totally an acceptable thing to do. Getting yourself that extra damage, those extra items, that extra res, all that stuff is very useful. I'm currently rocking 111 to mana wand, lore cap, 37 to mana amulet, stealth, mosers, some nice boots I found, um, an okay ring, 30 res, saigons, 14 to energy, and some 40 to life gloves, right? Though I am uh, gonna pop these gloves on just because they've got 15 mana, a little bit of light res, and 25 MF, which I like. The poor man's chances right there. Um, I also have my strength, of course, and then my teleport staff on swap. And you can sell this now. Uh, nothing else crazy that we really have found. I do have this amulet right here. 10 to mana, 7 to energy, so that's 17 to mana. With regen mana 5% and 5% FCR. Um, so I'd lose 20 mana, gain a little bit of energy for crit chance. We can look at what our FCR is right now. 25. Do I have any more? I do not. And so if we come over here to Barbarian. And he is the same as the Sorceress. And we'll go here. And. Window capture. We come here. We go to Barbarian. That's hit recovery. Faster cast rate. And here you go. So here are the frames for the Barbarian. Like I said, same as for the Sorceress. Um, which you can see down here. Which is kind of funny. But... Um, we don't hit our next breakpoint till 37%. Yeah, this is JSP, but honestly, it has a great... Uh, this this post is great because it has all the, the breakpoints listed out. Super nice. So, let me do like this and then this. Oops. Well, that was wrong. No. Oh, my God. I'm just destroying my layout. There we go. There you go. So, what this means, of course, is until I hit 37 FCR, I'm always going to be on the 11 frame breakpoint. So, if I have 36% FCR or 20% FCR, there is no difference. Some people think it's on just this, like, scale that's, you know, I guess it'd be diminishing um asymptotic or whatnot but it is not it is breakpoints like this right so you are always going to be 11 frames until you hit 37 and then you immediately jump to 10 frames so it right now i'm at 25 percent. so let's say i pick up a 10 fc 10 percent fcr ring or amulet something like that then i'd be at 35 that wouldn't help me but then switching to that amulet which adds 5% would get me to 40, which would hit to the next break point. So at this point, I'm just kind of keeping that in consideration. It's not a very good amulet, but it could get me to the next break point, and it has some energy mana, things like that. So I'm going to hold off and then just kind of prep and play for that. So anyways, let us go ahead and begin uh, as we run through hell. How did I craft that one? A Ral, a Perfect Amethyst, a Jewel, and a Blue Amulet. 
in my um, cube. So you can see that even though I am a lower level, I'm still doing pretty solid damage here. So, that's nice. Shout is not magic, shout is physical damage. That's right, Kron. Uh, and let's do this. Insert copy pasta about how this stream is so fun and you're a great streamer and you have great hair. Wow. Oh wait, I'm in nightmare. No wonder. Hello, you. I was YouTube. like, I'm murdering Good things. Luck. This seems shout way it. too easy. Shout it. Shout it out loud. Yeah, I should I should be getting murdered. <laughs> I was like, this is almost too easy. It should be way harder to kill stuff. Here we go. So now we still, I mean, like I said, that's why I didn't super notice, because, like, we still kill things pretty fast, even in hell. But, yeah, so here's my resistances, 65, 52, 75. This is, of course, thanks to Mosers adding a little bit extra res, um, me prioritizing res a little bit with some of my gear, right? But I don't even have, you know, I could have a, that... Um, one helm that we talked about earlier, I could put Orthol Rao in a helm and have 30, 30, 30. Or I could put an Umrune in this, right? Or whatever and really boost my res if I wanted. I could get rings that are better. I could get an amulet that has some res. I could get gloves with higher resistance. And then, of course, um, we have our points in natural res. I put two in there, plus one from lore, plus one from battle command. So I'm getting 35 all res from this. So that's really the nice thing. Thank you, Peter Punch. Um, that's really the nice thing about this character on a Barbarian is not only can you be very tanky, but you can be very, very strong as well with your tankiness. Because you're just... You just have such good res. So you have good res, good life, good breakpoints. Um... I mean, you can just do a ton. There are many foes here. Okay, so one thing, I'm just gonna level really fast. But one thing that you want to do when you get into the Dam of Evil is you want to go to to a uh, corpse fire and check him. And I'm gonna continue with Battle Cry for a little more damage. I still want to boost my damage up. So I'm gonna run past these dudes and just head straight to corpse fire because I want to see if he's physical immune. If he's stone skin, then I believe that makes him physical immune. And he's not, he's cold enchanted. And so you don't want to fight him if he is. Because obviously if he's physical immune, you can't kill him. Of course I enjoy every aspect of the game. How does a sing barb work? You're looking at it. Zombies are already really difficult to kill anyways, just as like a heads up. So I'm just trying to avoid getting hit by corpse fire. So you can use the stunned bodies to just block and get in the way, right? So wait till corpse fire gets here, then I run around to this side. Oops. Darn. I got him stunned a little bit. Take it, run around to this side, and you just kind of play this game. And remember, you have a decent amount of time, right? I have five second, <coughs> five second stuns, excuse me. What shout is this? Warcry. So it gives you time to run around, it gives you time to Do whatever. But you can see different zombies have taken like different amounts of damage. And that's just because Shout is kind of weird, like I said before, and how it does damage. But I'm also not able to sustain, unfortunately, right now. So I'd love to find a little bit better gear 
a little bit more mana, a little more energy, just to get better uh, regen so that I can sustain better on my shouting. Once again, one of the issues of the character. So the better your gear is, having those spirit swords, having that insight merce, whatever it is, right? That's just going to be huge. Looks like there's no immunes to this. Physical immunes. It is physical damage. So. But there's really not a lot of physical immunes in the game. Right, you can skip past most of them anyways. There we go. I guess making sure I have battle orders on is a very important part for casting. But like I say, zombies are a monster type that I, that I don't recommend going to fight anyways. They're just going to be too difficult. They just take way too long to kill because they have high fizz res. Or some fizz DR or whatever it is. Lawbringer Merce is good too. I mean, sure, but the thing is, on this character, you're going to have a way better time with an Insight Mercenary. Just because Insight's going to uh, get you your mana regen so that you're not having to deal with that. Right, like, mana regen is such a crucial part of this character. Also, of course, this is where having more levels can help, because more levels equals more damage. And then additionally, having um, better, like, plus to skill items, right, is going to be a, a big help for you as well. This is a more reasonable start time. Are these on YouTube later? Yep. Getting old. Can't do all these late nights. Sorry, I'll try to accommodate better. Maybe I'll upload 8 hour version of Barb Shout to my channel or something. Ten hours of a barb shouting. For soothing you to sleep. Okay. So, that is definitely one of the nice things is outside of um, the den of evil, right? You don't have to kill a lot of things. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Bruh. I need mana. So Hikaru told you that you're in the next Pog Champs. I mean, nothing is for sure, right? He's been very kind, generous, and trying to get me involved in the other ones as well. But... You know, it's just tough. Where did Moser's drop? Uh, somewhere in Nightmare, where was it? So the biggest thing is just make sure you pick up like ghost armor, just like, you know, one to two items every time you're out to the battle command, just to grab some gold so that you can refill on your potions. Because you are going to have to refill potions a lot. Unless you're doing insight and all of the stuff we talked about before. Hey, Punter. Welcome over. Uh, yes, dragon. Anybody in this gap? 
Doesn't look like it. Darn, a gargantuan beast. Was it Maggot Lair that it dropped? Anything else up here? Nope. Just this dude in the gargantuan. This is how the game was meant to be played, that's right. Respect to Whirlwind. Maybe we'll do a Whirlwind Barb guy to play through later. Underscore BPGU, sorry, bud. I mean, sorry, bra, 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 bra. I can't carry anymore. Cool. And just like that, Den of Evil's done. Only took a few minutes. Get some more potions and really just stocking up on mana potions. I have two perfect diamonds there. Just bumping the res up more. So like this is an example of a group that I'm not gonna fight. It just takes way too long to kill. So Gargantuan Beast we'll just leave alone. Champions I'm also probably gonna leave alone since once again stunning them is really difficult. So I'm just gonna run. And you can see how fast I am still once again. This is just because I have a couple points in increased, well, one point in increased speed, but then I get multiple points from my skills. Time fast run walk. You know, a couple things here and there, and we're good to go. Come over, kill Bishibosh, kill a couple of the minions around here. Grab the War Scepter, could be worth a lot of money. And continue to the stony field. So another place I really like to farm is uh, like Rakanishu. He's not a bad farming spot. If you just have like a waypoint right next to him. He can be kind of like farming in Eldritch. We'll check out those gauntlets. And here you can see this is what happens when you try and kill any ghoul type monsters again so we're just gonna not do that and we'll just move forward and keep bumping the damage as damage is just gonna be very important and I feel pretty good at 1666 6 life it's a pretty solid amount if you've leveled up more you probably have maxed battle cry by now Maybe a few more points into taunt, and then maybe you dump a few extra points into battle orders as well. Kill some vile hunters. And we'll drag the boss and see if we can drag him to some more other stuff to kill. And I have plenty of res, so I don't need to care as much about Novas and things like that. 12 hit recovery is potentially viable. Um, I'm probably not going to keep it just because I don't want to really keep up space for it. I'm not feeling in the crazy hit recovery mode. But that's totally a fine Grand Charm to keep. And these are also decent gloves, but not as good as what I have. I prefer having that 25... So positioning is really a big key for this, right? You want to make sure that you're getting around to where and even, you know, calling stuff in. You just don't want a lot of things long range in you and, and hitting you. Also, anytime you find an armor like a Dusk Shroud or any elite armors like that, go ahead and pick them up because that's just an instant, instant uh, 30 grand, 35, so... 
Easy money. So yeah, I, I'm doing this, at, I didn't level up here because I want to show that you still can totally and completely fine run through at that lower level, right? It, Like I say, if you want to go up to 70, I get it. That's Going up to 70 is honestly a good move. You'll kill things faster, you'll be stronger, some more survivable, all that stuff. But it's not a thousand percent necessary. Right, like you can still work through the game under leveled and and be fine in hell, and you can just farm a lot of stuff in hell here. That's right, Nifrin. Road to 2000. Hey, we're at 1372 or something right now. And the good thing is, we're at 1372 in chess, but like. I'm like winning and losing games here and there, which which I really like a lot because that it's kind of like balancing me out there, proving to me a little bit that like this is the level I should be at, you know? Like I'm not winning every game, I'm not losing every game, I'm not just getting lucky, like I'm, I'm hanging around the area for a little bit. This is gonna be one of those slightly difficult times. And this is why quill rats and stuff are generally not great, and we'll just kind of run away from them. Uh, I just shot this. Okay, we gotta be careful. Let's go ahead and do this. Go ahead and lower the damage of them as well. Call this guy in. Right, so once again, we're really seeing the advantages of playing this game smartly right now is the best way I can put it. Being very useful with our shouts. If monsters are hitting too hard, I battle cry them. If there's ranged monsters, I taunt them, right? Like whatever it is, you can use your different um, things to, to just do better. Does it make sense to shot plus three to war cry weapons? Totally, yeah. So if you want to go and shop plus to war cry weapons, especially like I have, you know, pretty good res. Obviously right now I'm under conviction, so my res are not as, as good at the moment. But if you have really good resistances, that can be just a fantastic way to, you know, like, all right, I'll drop a little bit there. But amp damage wand, I don't believe amp damage... Does it help Warcry? It is physical damage. I I actually am not certain on that. I would imagine it does, because it is physical. You but you're gonna have to get a amp damage on hit. You can't get charges. You would have to get a weapon that is cast amp damage on hit. And so that would be the like that's what I'm thinking. Is is there some sort of whatever thing like that? So yeah, you can't you can't get charges up. But there's certain skills in this game like static, amp damage, whatever that you can't just buy charges for. So yeah, I was thinking a cast on hit or cast on being struck or whatever sort of item for it. Okay, and I'm just gonna come over here and uh, just get away from get away from those quill rats. They're just too painful. And he's stone skin, so I'm just gonna kill his minions, and then we're gonna leave because trying to kill a stone skin is just the longest, most tedious thing you'll ever do. It's awful. This monastery reeks with evil. Gavel of Pain has three charges of amp damage. Oof, wow. I mean, to be fair, that could still be useful. <laughs> okay, so let's look at Tooth Row. Is this good? Attacker takes damage of 34. It's actually a pretty high amount of attacker takes damage, to be honest. Um, still in the late game, not crazy useful, but... 
Especially for our build, it's not really useful at all. Fire is 15. That's nice. 10 to strength. Yeah, sure, that's okay. 59 defense, 190% ED. I mean, it's got good defense. And chance of open wounds, which could be nice for, you know, earlier. But at this point, it doesn't have crushing blow on it or anything like that. So probably just not going to be worth it for us. So we'll go ahead and drop it. Could be an okay Merce, Merce uh, armor, but my mercenary has Duras, so we could even pick up our mercenary if we want, though he does have run the risk of dying here. Let's get Wahid. Let's grab a, the two open socket. He needs fire and lightning res, so I'm just going to go ahead and make him a fire and lightning res helm just to boost up those res a little bit. And I don't have anything else really crazy good for him. But a way to just help him out a little bit. Uh, I guess we aren't at the inner cloister yet, so bugging him can be a little tough. This can be a place that you can try and bug him. It doesn't always work, though. So we'll see. Okay, it worked. So you can tell it works because none of these monsters are willing to fight him. They're literally running right past him, right? Cool. So now he is bugged, and that'll just help him stay alive a little bit, as it can get a little dangerous here. Grab the malice. Yeah, that'll work with all mercenaries. Champions. I'm once again just avoiding, really. Just gonna lower the damage on these guys. Make sure we buff our mercenary there. It is um, losers. Definitely a good find for us. Act when mercenaries can open doors. Oof. I guess you don't glitch them in the, that way then, you glitch them in another way. You just have to like get far enough away. Like here you can see that I'm pretty far from my mercenary and so he just teleported to us right there. So sometimes, like I say, just naturally in this game, you'll bug the mercenary anyways. If you just like run ahead of your mercenary and now he's like trapped against this wall and so he does end up finding the door but like if he didn't find the door and I kept going, eventually he would just, oh yeah, ghosts are immune to physical. So that's one of the few monsters that you're not gonna fight. Have you ever considered laying the smith make weapons from my bones? Sounds like they'd be super powerful. I mean, it is a good consideration, I suppose. Maybe it's something I'll look into. Leaping somewhere they can't get to also works. Yeah, exactly. As a barbarian, it's extra easy. I was just thinking of like every character. But yeah, as a barbarian, it's even easier because you can literally just leap to a spot that they can't get to and then run from there. And then they'll just be chilling and you're good to go. So I can totally use a better weapon for my mercenary. Right now he's just using this like crappy fine pike. Um, which, you know, is okay. But not amazing. So if I find a really nice pike or, yeah, I could also try and gamble a nice pike for him. I could just try and shop one. I could try and craft something for him. There's definitely some things I can do. I'd really love to just like find a good weapon off in Daryl. You know, maybe that's asking a little bit, but who knows? In your naked runs, you're naked. Where do you keep your potions? Um, you just kind of like tie them on a string around you. I don't think that the string counts as clothing. Okay. And we'll ignore a ghost again. We'll bump up battle cry more. We'll keep pushing vitality. And at this point, if you do want to push your strength a little bit, like... 
I think that's totally a valid option as well. Just to, you know, I'm at 65. Going up to 70, there's some decent items that you can wear at 70 strength. But really, like, you just want to think about what, what kind of items, what do we have here? Waypoint. Uh, what kind of items am I looking for, you know? And I'm just going to try and avoid tainted. because they're just a little bit annoying. So make sure to grab the waypoint because Indario farming can be really solid. A gift for you. Next MVS needs to be Arctic Blast. So instant loss. Does everything chat do help me? Is that how that works? Man plus stream? Sounds like a man and stream kind of build right there. I'm not also gonna I'm also not gonna fight ghouls, because once again, trying to damage ghouls is just the most annoying thing ever. So there's not a lot of stuff that I really want to fight in the catacombs. Maybe some banished later. Maybe I'll fight some uh, fallens and stuff, but otherwise, eh. We'll skip it. Okay. We'll support you morally. I like that. Man and streams. So, like, this is a group that I could jump in on and, and try and... Uh, nope. MBS, They're also man pretty tanky. Stream. Okay, we'll the leave them pays the viewers to watch. <laughs> what could go wrong? What could go wrong? Make sure we're on players one. Yeah, they've got 50% damage reduced, so yeah. Never mind. Now, this is where things can get a little annoying if you get a really, like, awful spawn inside so sometimes resetting is your best option or you can just take the time to kill things really just depends how you want to do it i'm just going to kind of clean up some of this area here and then i'm not going to kill these ghouls i'll just teleport over so yeah we have a couple ghouls in here not a big deal though it really only becomes a big deal when uh there's like a boss group of ghouls. But then, once again, you can still just take your time. And having my mercenary with Durus especially, like, he's just gonna kill these guys, right? So I don't even need to worry as much about it. And here, I can use my taunting to taunt these guys over to me so that I don't aggro Andy yet. Right, just be creative. Think about everything you gotta do. Is this a walkthrough? Yeah. Yes. Taunting sound is terrible. What's wrong? What's so terrible about that? Uh, my mercenary is probably going to die, and so is yours. It is very difficult to keep a mercenary alive against Andy. The best thing you can do is make sure that you're on the opposite side of your mercenary. So... I am going to try and immediately run over here and go to the opposite side here. And we did get a bad drag. Thanks. So I need Andy to follow, but I don't want I don't want that ghoul group to follow us. Right. Okay. So let's go heal, get our poison res on our Merce. Okay, he's doing okay. He is bugged, but still, if he's just standing on the wrong side. So it might be one of those things where I just take his terrorist off soon. But like, here we go. So I'm on one side of Indariel, he's on the other side. Again, we're double teaming her, which is really solid. And this way, Andario is always spraying at me, not spraying at Wahid, and so that's just going to be a lot better for, for us. He is poisoned, and he's still taking a lot of damage. But, how was my date with Ikaru? It was great. We went and got coffee, had some nice chats, you know, life chats, pog champs, streaming, all sorts of stuff. So 
so this is just, you know, like I say. The other option, of course, is just take it for yourself. Say, hey, I'll just take the Duras. I'm just gonna hit her enough, and I don't need, like, you, and I'll just steal it, you know. Okay, let's go get more health pots. Yeah, she does nasty poison damage. So you can always drink antidote potions that pl that's plus 50 poison res. Right? Darn it. So now I'm at 85. So it's plus 50 poison res and plus 10 to the maximum poison res. Always make sure your casts go off. If you get hit in the middle of the animation, it won't actually trigger. How do you kiss a girl during a, quaten, during a date in quarantine? You don't kiss a girl on a date. That's considered rude, right? And we're probably pretty close to shouting him down. So let's just finish her off. A good date ends in a firm handshake. Exactly. Cool. War boots. Hey. A little bit high strength requirements for us, though. But the start of RIK set begins. And now we bug in Dario. Very important, especially in Hell. And ta-da, it's done. So now in Dario, we'll always do a quest drop, which is fantastic. And we have IK, which is 44 to life, 40 faster run walk. Nice defense. Very nice. But it is, what, 60 strength away? So 60 to strength is another um, 240 life that I'd be giving up to gain 44 life. So I'd have to have a lot of other gear that's also kind of worth making that big of a commitment to it. It's a nice helm. Life, energy, cold fire res. Not going to be better than our lore. Getting those plus to skills are really nice, which is why getting that plus to uh, the lore or plus to war cry weapons, things like that, can also do very nicely. But congratulations, everybody. You just beat Act 1 of Hell. Leveled up to 54. Doing fantastic. Okay, now we continue forward. So remember, beetles will wreck your mercenary. So be careful. Mana burn curse, kind of annoying. There we go. If your mercenary will target the boss like that, that makes it way better. So much nicer. Yeah, mana burn's definitely gonna be one of those mods. So mods that we really hate right now are mana burn. We don't care about cold enchant. Light enchant we probably don't like just because our mercenary could die. It's not end of the world if he does okay or gets in the right spot, though. Stone skin is obviously a no-go. Um, yeah. Things like that. But, like, cursed extra strong. Yeah, it's a little bit of damage, but... I mean... I'm not taking a lot of damage, right? Bring these guys in closer to us. We'll 
just go kill here. Perfect. And I don't really feel like fighting all those leapers. They're kind of annoying. Problem with leapers is every time you shout, it pushes them away. So then they just kind of like hang on the outside of it, and then, I don't know. How come we aren't using Whirlwind? This is a shout bar playthrough. Also, it's not good. Okay, so maggots look like they're kind of high defense, so we're just gonna ignore them. Once again, just kind of with every... Oh, jeez. Uh, oof. Ouchies. That was a lot of spice. Um, with every monster type, Hello again, Al just be aware of... I was trying to get to my rejuice, but I, I kept failing to open my inventory. Just be aware of the monsters that you want to fight and the monsters that you don't. I mean, Conviction is, you know, it's not great when there is a um, lightning enchant and stuff. Cold enchant, I think, as well. Right next to you. That makes it not as nice. Yeah, lightning enchant plus Conviction is always dangerous. I guess we also don't like three boss groups together. I mean, it's true. I was just in a tough position. So those little raptors are actually pretty nasty because they just get right on top of you. A lot of them are super fast and they're just really hard to dodge. So this is a multi enchant, so he's gonna do a lot of damage. So I need to just be careful of his bolts. Try and make sure I'm not too close. And obviously itchies are immune to physical, so. We're just gonna come down here and try and kill this way, and that's good enough. Stone skin. There's also fanaticism on top of the might aura. Too many strong auras there is just gonna be too much damage. There's more stone skin. So we will just leave all of that alone. No reason to even play around with it. <laughs> yeah, well, you have to remember that shouting is physical damage, so... Stone skin is... just makes it so difficult to, to even hurt them. Just looking for a waypoint. Also, maggot lair. There's a waypoint. Perfect. A gift for you. Love or stuff, dude. Less than Hello. three. Thank you. Do I think sub eleven hours is possible? I mean, yeah, that's. You know, speed runs are like nine hours for this. Thank you, Diesel. Kill his minions once again. I believe he was stone skin. No, he's mana burn though. We'll just do this. Eventually we'll turn the mallet into Charcy. Another mana burn, not a big deal. As these are thrower dudes, so. Then we got champions over there. And once again, we don't really fight champions. So we just move forward. And salamanders are pretty weak, so I take a few shouts, but not a big deal. You can go as fast or as slow as you want through this area. If you want to just zip through it, that totally works, especially on this character. So you can just 
try and, you know, zip through. Probably not a good idea while you're cursed, but... Okay, that's not going to take us there. Nothing that way. Should really get uncursed before you try and do any of this stuff. Okay, so a rough map. Ooh, hello. So yeah, if you want to just speedy Gonzalez through, you totally can. Costs you a little bit of gold, which I actually don't have a lot of gold right now, so not the best. I am totally ready for it. I mean, okay, we got 10 TP charges left, and we're pretty broke, so I need to go and pick up some more gold at some point. So we'll just pick up some of those items like I talked about before, dust shrouds and whatever not. Um, three energy, let's look over here how much we have. I guess I can sell some things here and there. If we need to, we can sell a couple things. But, for now, let's just do the Maggot Lair. And we'll just take it a little slower and get some gold. And also, Eldritch Farming is great for gold. You can go farm Act 1 if you really want gold, right? A lot of places that you can just farm for gold. <laughs> And you will need to utilize leap in here or teleport just because uh, you can't kill those whatever dudes. Death beetles are not my favorite thing to fight at all. And grab the staff. Get out. Easy enough. Now, let's go get a little bit of gold, as I do want to teleport through some of the Arcane Sanctuary. Um, so we can go Cold Plains. And Gargantuans are not the beast that I want, but Mana Burn is also not my favorite here, but we will at least drag these guys. See what we can get. Okay. Another mana burn. So many mana burn. Field plate, plate mail. There's some money right there. Amulet, maybe. War belt. Field plate, plate now, war belt. I can't carry anymore. And let's grab the amulet. Welcome back, my friends. Money, money, money. Ooh. Now that's a nice amulet. 
11 all res, of course fantastic, but 26 to strength, that helps us get towards a lot of those potential strength goals in the future. Also, if we have a respec, we can do a lot less strength, right? And just use that, so. Very uh, viable option there. But that was, you know, an easy 50 grand. See what else we can gather up and collect out here. We can, of course, go Stony Field as well. Kill Bishibosh. Hello, Jinther's Rift. Holy Water Sprinkler. Potentially some good in there as well. We got a long staff as well. It is white, so could be nothing, but could also be something. Two to enchant. That'll be worth a little bit of money. We got a boss group here. He is stone skin. Let's just gather him up. And bring them all along this way to right here. So just easy ways to farm experience, farm items, gold, all sorts of stuff, right? Oh, nothing really on that. Holy water sprinkler. Stone skin. Like I say, this is the problem with stone skin right here. Even with your mercenary and stuff, it's still super annoying. <laughs> Cross you. Greetings. Yes. So we can check out Jinthers and stuff. It's yes. a cool item. Okay, it's a 24 grand, 18. So nice IAS on it, good enhanced damage, and it adds some magic damage. So this can be nice against um, monsters with like Fizz Immune, whatever stuff. I really like Jinthers Rift. But. Obviously, it doesn't do anything in this current build, so we'll toss it. Put a little bit of money away. Uh, edge bow, battle gauntlets. Those two sound good to me. Nightmare cows would also be a great place to go. Could be really solid farming there. Oh no, he's mana burn. Plate mail. I'm going to play with hashtag chess on Saturday. Have I had a chance to try a Boadin? played a Bowden before. I think I played a Bowden through normal. Bowden speedrun, right? Sounds right to me. Hey, Stu. Nice. Yeah. Crossbow is on. I've used it before with Strafe. If you're not using strafe, crossbow is pretty lame, but otherwise, it works out okay. Let's go to the Black Marsh. Let's get a little more money. Oops, I don't have Black Marsh. Okay, well, let's go here then. Run it back. Crossbow Enchantress. Interesting. Okay, we'll just gather up groups of these dudes. 
Try and keep them all within aggro range. Champions, not a huge fan. Can be tough with the Holy Freezer, honestly. Imagine this builds on 1.0. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> no mana potions. Oof. Let's try a little pit farm. See if we can kill anything in here. Nice. Mana burn. Really annoying though. Mang songs, I'm gonna lose my mind though. Y'all know that's the truth. Done with Diablo 2 for we're gonna be a Fortnite streamer if this if that happens. Knife like dinner, yes, just like dinner. Raveler head, grim wand, quarter staff. Okay, lots of lots of good gold items here. Great pole axe. Be worth some money as well. Yeah, I mean, he deals with the pit surprisingly well. The pit is an area level 85, you guys. We've also now maxed out Battle Cry as well. So if we want more damage, we can go to Taunt and Howl. If we would like, I can also go for more life. I'm going to continue on the damage train. Um, money, money, some money to Nova. Let's see what we have in here. Ah, uh, just that I got to turn in. Okay. You call him David because you're close. Nice. Uh, I mean, I've done a collab stream with Dabrunski before. The first David I think of when you say David is, of course, uh, David Brevik. I call him David because we're close. not a find item, but find item would totally be viable down here at this point. It's all decent experience down here. Superior trellis armor. That could be worth some good money. Superior assault helm as well. And hey, a Lava, field plate. As a streamer. Do you find that you can't find Mang Song's lesson over and over again? I do. I do find that. Ooh, five open socket. <clears throat> Great poleaxe. 179 strength requirements, though. My Merce has 130. So I could, like, you know, it's also 63 required. So we're just going to sell it. 
What makes the pit such a great area? It's area level 85, so high experience and Fresh all that. Thank you, Stu. Thank you, Diesel. Thank you, Evo. And thank you, X Paladin. Money, money, money. Okay, perfect. So we've farmed some experience and some gold at the same time. And we can also do this for our tele charges. Yeah, that can drop any item in the game. So I could do that repair, right? Or I can just use these later. So right now I have five charges left. So let's go out. Let's go use them. Yeah, Pit has a high number of elite packs. Area level 85, any item in the game can drop. You can drop a lot of like elite items and stuff. Obviously, because it's area level 85, it has really good experience on it. Um, I mean, just it's just very solid. I will take Brad Pitt. That sounds good to me. Most people say I look like much less attractive people. Pete Davidson. So, you want to go Brad Pitt? Let's do it. Let's do Brad Pitt. <laughs> One could get lost in here. Okay, so I'm just going to leap over the basic stuff and So just cuz you can't kill ghosts doesn't mean you can't stun them also your leap pushes things back right if you leap infinitely in place let me find like a better group to right here All right. my leap isn't super good but basically if you infinite leap nothing can touch you that is melee at least right range stuff will but that's a that's a super easy way to just Avoid ever getting hit. So this is what I was afraid of, was an extra fast ghost group. So let's go ahead and do that. I want to... I want to, like, keep my mercenary. Yeah, I'm not going to. Okay. We're not going to keep them bugged. Not first way. So extra fast those guys. So this is where I was talking about, right? I have two charges left on this. I can either spend 70 grand or I can do this little nugget right here. So if you just do an ort rune, it repairs the item durability. If you do an ort rune and a chip gem, it repairs the charges as well. So now I have 33 teleport charges at a much cheaper cost. How neat is that? That's pretty neat. Get a couple more potions. One could get lost in here. <laughs> wow, Evo. I look like I find or run two to three times per day. So I've been told. Uh oh, I didn't bug my mercenary. And that's what happens when you don't bug your merce. Sometimes he'll teleport right into a pack that's just gonna murder you. Okay, doesn't look like second way either. Brutal. Where can I take you? Absolutely brutal. Yes. We'll get our mercenary back later. Get lost in here. Is it blue items only? No, I believe it works with any items. So you could shove your spell steel in there and do the same thing. And while you're leaping in the air, monsters can hit you. So, you also can't die while you're midair, so you'll be at like 1 HP, and then when you land, you die. So just be aware that until you actually land, monsters can hit you as if you're walking next to them while you're leaping. Okay. 
Third way. Three times of third way. Okay. Circle over moon all the way to the right. I don't really care about killing any of those monsters. I'm not sh I don't believe it prevents you from actually dying. I think your character will be dead. And we got scarabs in here as well, which I also am not a huge fan of fighting right now. So, just because they're kind of, kind of tanky. A little hard to kill. It's not like you can kill them, but I'm just going to run past, do this stuff, get my mercenary, and fight Duriel. And we'll just do the same stuff that we've been doing for the other bosses, right? Also make sure we get some thawing potions. <laughs> Grab Wahid. Go bug him. Close the door on him. Come here, Wahid. Perfect. All right. And let us fight Duriel. We have three minutes of 85 cold res now. Looking for Bale? So Duriel, of course, is a pain just because he has the cold. I have 85 Coldress. Also, 1800 life. Having Cannot Be Frozen would help a little bit, but we can still be chilled here, so it doesn't actually help as much as you might think. And our mercenary is also struggling to land hits. So having extra levels also will help a lot right here. Am I missing every time? Mostly. I mean, this is just how it works with Duriel. But your goal is to just hit him sometimes, right? I have 25% chance crushing blow. My Merce has 33% chance crushing blow. So between us, if you add those together, that's a 58% chance of crushing blow. And then you take Duriel's chance to be crushing blown um, into account. And that's like another 20%. And so now you subtract his 20% from the negative of our 20%. So now you've got a 78% chance to crushing blow him. <sighs> Fresh meat. Thank you, Raph. So you just gotta hit him sometimes. Uh, I like to just do it in cows and then use the socket quest on it, Riddle, but I mean, honestly, you can find them all over the place. Otherwise, I wouldn't trust a shield from normal. Three hours later, shout Barba's snore, but Llama makes it interesting. Plus, your hair looks great today. The offer with my grandma still stands if you're interested. Thank you. Does that go on a date with your grandma? That math sounded like a word seizure happening real time. Look, it wasn't perfect math, but how do you know Crush and Blow is successful? You look at his life total. If it chonks down, it was successful. Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. Farm the white shield, but it needs to be from cows. Or, like, very late in Act 5. Hello. Earlier ones will only get three open sockets. Start shouting him pretty soon. With Duriel, shouting usually goes a little better. Not a PB and J if you're not using Jif brand crunchy peanut butter. Ugh. Nine tenths felons prefer it. Crunchy. Ow. Got him. Ooh, there's an ogre axe in there as well. Maybe something we can give to our mercenary. I can't. GG, Daryl down. I also want to pick up all these things for money, so we're going to wait there. Okay, that's huge damage, but required strength 156. So, getting our Merce extra strength. Uh, I don't have anything currently. I mean, you can obviously just shove some, like, amethyst into a helmet to help him out a little bit. Sell the mage plate, put that on the ground. Requirements already minus 20%, I know. It's tough. That is tough. More money. It is an honor to serve you. Wow, two to Chrome Bot, two to Bow and Crossbow, two to Amazon. Very low damage though. And let's go ahead and grab this. Uh, I mean, this is we don't actually need to use this. As fun as it would be, it's slow attack speed, and that's just kind of lame. So we'll get rid of it. We can get rid of the flawed diamond. We can get rid of this. And we'll save that for a little bit. Maybe if we can find something with a lot of strength for our mercenary, we can give him that. Look for a nice strength helm or something. But, that's my thoughts on botted. It's nice. I like botted a lot. It's one of my favorite weapons. Just because it's. I love the proc of Poison Nova. Give yourselves the clap. I don't know if we did, but let's give ourselves another clap, anyways. For Dariel Hell. 20 FCR wand with energy and tons of res. I mean, that's that's solid right there for sure. Now I move into Act 3. I should get some health potions. Potions? Nah, you can't repair eth items with cube. Oh, 
Unfortunately not. And still just kind of doing the same thing. If I see bases that are like nice exceptional or elite bases, I pick them up. Can be a great way to just get a little extra dough. Ghost armor. Can be worth a nice 12, 13 grand. Target in the main guy. Solid. Okay, let's make sure we have room for the eye. This is always kind of a dangerous teleport. Not the place I want to really be. So if this area gets too nasty, then I'll just leave. Yeah, so let's get out here. Try and drag these guys away a little bit. Get Cesart and see if we can't bring him up this way. boss group. simple as that. And if you ever have a curse on your head and you're just not feeling super comfortable with it, like, just go to town and get rid of it, right? Drop a TP, go to town. You can sell, you can refill on potions. But you can just do this. Ooh, 24 grand for that. Nice. Chance for lightning. And now we're not cursed. We put our gold away. Refresh potions. All that stuff. Living a happy, happy llama life. Join my armies. Mana burn. Chat, let's play a new game. Take a shot every time Llama's Barb says bar. Whoever gets alcohol poisoning first wins. So everybody loses instantly. Or wins in your terms, I suppose. I can't carry anymore. Oof. All right, so this is our three block, and what do we do on our three block? We check the sides, right, everybody? One block, two block. Three block. Does this cut out right? It does not. It also doesn't cut left because obviously we can see that that goes into an area. So nothing on our three block. Now we go to our five block and see where that cuts us. I am overburdened. <laughs> This is our four block, so nothing of interest on the four block, right? OK. 
could be worth some money. Let's also grab the wing town. So this I could give to my mercenary, actually. Shove a bunch of amethyst in there, get him all the strength that he needs. He'd lose some res, yes. But then he could use that much better. Much better item in front. So now we're on our five block. So what do we do on our five block? That's right, we check both the right and left directions again. Does it go right? It does not. So now we check our left block. See if it cuts out left. Most likely not going to have a skip this time through. Get a little more damage. Get some more vitality. We're up to 57 already. And... We have a great marsh here. Let's see if the straight will, for some reason, carry us through. It's not looking like it will. But we can check, just in case our six block wants to have a little fun. And it does not want to have fun. So, dead end it is. And thus, Great Marsh it is as well. Three to NATO. Nice. Um, let's trash the Saigons. So we'll probably just trash the Steel Driver as well, even though I like it. <sighs> bye bye, Steel Driver. And so this, like I say, has that possibility for our mercenary who has 134 strength. Um, you know, we can boost his strength up with if we can get a couple more perfect amethyst there so that he can use this. And that'll just help boost his damage. She's always nice. All right, so let's go into the Great Marsh now. Hopefully no souls. If there are souls, we can deal with them. <laughs> Three block. Left kick. Give us a flare jungle, huh? Cool. Alright, so we have a flare jungle on the three block. Really nice. We'll drop a safety TP just in case something happens. Just because we have no waypoints anywhere. Yeah, I know. Both both the barb playthroughs got the steel driver. Pretty funny. Birds are pretty solid kill right there. What a strange. Glad the figurine. Grab it. And uh, keep moving. But when we do our whirlwind playthrough, we won't get steel driver. Just remember that. Okay, I kind of wouldn't mind a waypoint right now. Just good to get a waypoint for safety, right? Just in case you run into something super nasty. Can just be really helpful. And let's keep it going. 
don't know, Vess. <laughs> don't we really need good gear for a Roman playthrough? No, I mean, I'll just have to play it a little bit safer in the way of, like, one, my mercenary will do a little bit more. Two, I will have to do more with uh, farming, right? So, like, farming Eldritch, things like that will be very important in that run. And it'll be more just, like, skipping some of that content, which, you know, some people get angry about, but what's she gonna do, man? Some skills are just not good. You gotta, you gotta do whatever you can. But like, this skill is totally fine, right? Like, I mean, look at this. We're in Act 3 Hell, we can still kill plenty of monsters, we can still like, deal with giant hordes of stuff. Ramp raises, that'll be worth some money. I can't carry any more. Stay a while and listen. Do you have a box of checks with Heed's gear? Duris? Ral Ort, and then just this pike currently. So I'm working to get him a better one. Um, 43 to mana. Okay, so I like that. Other than that, pretty trash ring. Five to light radius. I can show you the world. But 43 to mana is a lot of mana, so. Three to combat skills for the barb. And. Why can't she use it yet? Required level 55. Oh, 134 dex. Yeah, he doesn't. he's not going to have that dexterity. Would have been good otherwise. Huge light radius on this ring, right? So we'll save it for now. And grab the war sword and the short spear. Good to see you. One to barb skills. Another one of those items that I could just pop in there for, uh, for just carrying around. Kind of like the one to war cries, right? It's not bad. It's only 71 strength, 45 dex. I don't have any dex, though, so that would be a, a pretty big dex commitment. Not quite worth it for me. And so now we fill up on some potions as we're going to be doing the long run through. And I don't want to go to town before I get to the next waypoint. Though I do have this flare jungle waypoint pretty close, so in the event I need to go to town, it's not end of the world. <clears throat> Dude is strong. I am Ogre Malls can also be worth decent gold. Isn't Flare Dungeon next to Jidbin? Yes, that's why I left a TP right over there. So the point is, I could just go down in the Flare Dungeon because I have the Flare Jungle Waypoint, but I'm gonna do the forward back strats. Scarab shells are also worth money. Where I go forward and then try and go back to my TP that I set. I know nothing's in there, so we can leave that alone. Well, he does not healing. Is he mega poisoned? Probably.
That's right. You friendly time. Group. And we're already at level 58, so I mean, I am working my way towards that level 60 pretty easily here. Now, Lower Kurost in Hell is a fantastic farm place. Absolutely fantastic. So let's go ahead and get this waypoint, and then we can show off. Ooh, spider web sash. Show off LK farming, which is right here. Where's our waypoint at? Oh, it's up there. This runs almost as fast as Barb's speed run. I mean, not bad considering we started as a throw Barb and do just a lot of discussion and guide and stuff in yes. between. Good evening. Okay, trash. Ooh, wee! So that is a big win, yes for us. Sure we lose 20 fire res, but 59 life is huge. Because that also gets buffed up. Nine to strength, we don't need. Finding a nice belt with a lot of life is always solid. And if you want, because I have such good resistances, um, or, or such good like strength, I can actually just come here and chop it like this, right? So you can get a really nice belt like that, or you can just shop a belt that's super amazing. And yes, this belt is only three sockets instead of four, but 97 to life, 24 fire res, I'm going to say it's worth more to me than just 59 to life. So that's something that you can do as a barb. Um, going after a plated belt is better if you have 60 strength, right? So I can try and find a plated belt that has like 100 to life on it as well. But this also has the fire res on it, which I like. So you know what? That's a good enough belt for me. I'm just going to go with it. And now we go back. So yeah, I'm going to be running a little short on my potions. It's a little annoying, annoying, but such is life for a nice belt. Because you have to remember, 97 to life, that's pre-battle orders. Right? So it's worth even more after battle orders. Not only did I almost find a rack in a speedrun, I have a rack right there that I can farm for a spider web sash if we really wanted to. Let's grab the demon heart for a little money. I mean, the physical, so let's ignore those guys. Let's be careful in here. Uh, Conviction Aura, we're just gonna teleport past all that. That's the kind of group that you just say, Lightning Enchant, Conviction Aura, nah. I'm okay. Right, ba Battle Orders makes plus life even better. So, that's why finding things with plus to life is so solid. Not just on this character, but any character, especially when you have CTA. Because all the plus life is worth even more. And same with plus mana as well. Battle Orders also improves that. Really? Oh yeah, I have an Ogre Maul in there. That's right. Nice. Get out the Ogre Maul. 30 grand. Beautiful. And so now lower crust farming, right? So basically here's what you do. You come in here, you set players to eight. Okay. So you set players to eight. I just wanted to get it stuck on my keys. You go to lower crust. And then you can either have one or two of these fire camps. So technically you want to look for one with two. But here you can see I also have a uh, potential um, arachnid mesh rack right there, which is super solid. So we can talk about that in a second. But you get keys, I guess. Let me go get keys. 
Why eight, and not seven? It's the same. It doesn't really matter. The order welcomes you. And they just open these chests, and they're just gonna have massive drops, rares, all sorts of goodies. You can also pop open these things. You're gonna lose your mercenary. That's okay. Get rid of one set of keys. Stun some stuff. Open this chest. Open this chest. Rinse and repeat. That rack drops a rack in mesh. Yeah. Good day. So we'll go here. Lower across. We'll come down here. Um, this way. Spiderweb sash. So it's a one in what? 400 chance, did I say? For a unique. Open this. You'll find gems. You'll find runes. You'll find jewels. You'll find lots of rares. Lots of things worth money, like more. swirling crystals. All sorts of stuff. Iraq is too high level. Mm, actually, you're right. It is. Iraq is Q level 87. So we won't be able to find it there. Oh, was my first one a failed unique, actually? I didn't even look at it. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, well, we did drop an arachnid mesh off the first drop. That's right. Arach is Q level 87. So we actually found um, an arachnid mesh. That's really funny. But yeah, so spiderweb sash. It's going to drop a spiderweb sash every single time when I approach it from the same direction and click on it from the same direction. Um, I have a whole video about rack farming. And you should go and watch it because it is absolutely amazing. Um, and it's fascinating how we can like predict all of these things and get things like this to happen. So right there is four times in a row. So finding a good rack is amazing. Let's say you find a rack that drops like Shaco's, or you find a rack that drops um, whatever Threshers or whatever whatever base you want. Right? Whenever you find those, you're just gonna be in this perfect perfect spot. Because then you can just event you can just keep running it over and over again until it drops it unique, as I just had right there where we found a unique on the first uh, first drop of the rack actually. But once again, we can't actually drop a uh, unique here, so that's why it didn't drop unique because the area level is too low, or the area level is yeah too low compared to the level of um, Arach arachnid meshes. Q level 87. So not even Pindle can drop Arachnid Mesh. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, so if you approach it from like a different way, it can drop different things. Where you're at, where you like, when you pop it, especially with telekinesis charges, where you're standing when you pop it will affect what it drops. If there's monsters nearby it, it will affect what it drops as well. Um, it's really crazy. So I can show you guys that here in a second. You've seen it drop a spiderweb sash four times in a row, right? So we know that it's a spiderweb sash rack. When approached from that direction, that side, everything that I just said. So now I can go and prove that it can drop something else. What do we got in the middle here? <laughs> if I'm wearing a fire shirt, does it drop different? No, your clothing outside of the game is not going to affect the rack. That's how you got your 45 or five shields. Yep. 
Exactly. You can you can if you farm a car and targes or whatever it is, you can just leave those there and just do that. And then you just keep farming it over and over again and eventually you'll drop really nice uh shields. I don't think I'm saying anything like that, SMT. So a lot of people use it for, the, or they find it, discover it, because of the Mephisto racks, right? So you have the armor and the weapon rack there. And so a lot of people discovered when they were doing that, that like, oh, hey, it tends to drop the same item over and over again. Not always, because sometimes there's monsters nearby or they approach it differently or whatever it is. but. If you have the exact same approach and there's no monsters near it, you will find the same item. Any way to leverage that behavior online? No, because you're always getting a new map. Map seed's always changing, so. Unfortunately, not. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, let's go here. So let's go ahead and reset so we can prove the thing out. Let me make sure I have travel goal waypoint. Yeah. Okay, and then we come here and we go to the lower cross. And now let's go approach it from this angle like this. And see, now it drops a minion skull. So, the way that you sneak up on the rack and everything will affect the dropping of it. It's a very weird thing. Racks are one of the most interesting things in this game, I feel like. I'm always fascinated. I just want to, like, sit there and study them all day. Count to spawn works similarly? Yeah, so which side the count to spawns on can depend on which way you approach her from. But I mean, that's true for a lot of monsters. I think racks are even more interesting because they're literally like, even where you're standing when you click on the rack. It's ridiculous. Stomp players eight? God, I hope not. Did I ever change out? I think I changed players one. I think if this was players eight, it would be even worse. Get them next to us. Don't really want to deal with them far away. We can also get our mercenary here. Yes, it is, Luchi. Greetings. Yeah, there's so many weird things, else. Scenario over here. All right. I know you want to kill those guys, but I want you on torque, man. All right, fine. Kill them first, and then come over here and kill torque. I think I got him in a perma stun. Nah, no, he's not in perma stun here. He 
He just has a trash pike, but he's got a Duras, so that's where he's getting a lot of his damage from. Can you make a singer work endgame with good gear? It can definitely start to work and do better. Yeah, we got an um from Nightmare Forge. Like I said, if we didn't have that, we would give my our mercenary a strength rune or something and make him even a little better there. So not a huge deal that he didn't have it. Yeah, I don't feel like actually wasting time killing all that. Let's just go to level two. So once again, another great character for farming. Uh, are a great boss to farm, Hell Mephisto. You'll notice that Endariel and Mephisto tend to be fantastic characters for farming in every act. Act, or every difficulty. Act one normal is the only place that I'd be like, eh, you know, like normal Mephisto and Endariel are okay. You can get, like I say, Blood Fist, Hisaris, some definitely some nice items that you can sustain you through a lot of the game though, if you're doing that. Like, that's what uh, Maria did, aka Photo Chess. She went and farmed on the Barbarian Normal and Dariel. And picked up Blood Fist, picked up Pissaris Boot, Pissaris Belt, some other nice items that helped her throughout the game. So we're just gonna avoid those guys, come over here, teleport across, and get in on him, and time to strength him up. So Mephisto is sometimes really annoying in that he'll just suddenly target your mercenary for no reason. Just like that. So he's a meanie. Even if you have him bugged, he'll still do it. Uh, okay. So just be careful with that. But still try and practice the same safe fighting that you did before, where you stay in front, let your Merce go in from behind, um, and just take precautions so that Mephisto is always facing towards you, generally. That way if he does a big charge bolt release or something, he's not going to hit your mercenary accidentally, right? Unless he turns and faces your mercenary to do so, which like I said, sometimes he just does because he's a good. Dream shot, how you doing? Come on, Wahid, get in here, buddy. Like I said, sometimes Mephisto is just a big old jerk. Yeah, like I say, range stuff will target. So that's the difficulty. Ranged archers or skelly mages, oblivion knights, they'll target your mercenary still sometimes. And this is where having a rhyme shield really helps out, so you don't have to deal with constantly being uh, frozen. Start shouting him, but Greetings. Yeah, it's an interesting idea, binary. T 
today's Fortnite stream. I uh, don't think we scheduled a Fortnite stream. What would I upgrade the Mercer's strength to? He doesn't have a... Strength. I never gave it to him. But... I would keep it on him. I mean, unless you find an item with a really high damage and you have something like Duras, right? You just want a crushing blow source. So, I've got the source from Duras. If you don't have that, give him strength. Until you find another weapon. Oh, come on. That's annoying. There we go. Much better with the... Uh, the double team going on here. Heed really helps a lot in this scenario. You don't want to go too far to either side though, because you don't want to drag the guys who are going to heal. Cool. And a little shield. And where are my boots? Sure. He do bear stay alive, man. Yes. So these boots don't actually really do anything for us. Is they're just faster run walk? Yeah, the half freeze duration is nice, but my my boots are gonna be better. Thirty five faster is gonna be better as well there. And uh, he what is, happened to Leharas? Hashtag. Team it's got Leharas. nice damage reduce on it for sure. Um, but way too high of strength and twenty all res. So, not quite good enough. But we'll grab these two. Grab the Partisan, see if it's maybe good damage. We could give it to our Merce. Let's see, he's up to 137 strength. Barbarians are the most foul-smelling of all the classes. Nice. They all have bow, and it has a 12-yard radius. That's actually sick. We got a fool's partisan of quickness, so that's actually uh, that's actually fantastic. Forty IAS with fool's mod. So that's that's a big upgrade for him. So add a little attack speed, add a little damage and attack rating, and. Baby, you got yourself a mercenary. Sounds about right. Okay, we're 58, closing in on 59. Let's split and give yourselves the clap, everybody. As you are now conquerors. I'm gonna skip past the charge bolt. Of Act 3 Hell. Well done, you guys. Well done. Let's find Ishwal. Who hopefully won't be too bad to kill. Okay, we'll set this. So we'll do the forward back again. Yeah, Isual's got ridiculous HP. Almost as much as Diablo. Hellforge not worth it? I mean, Hellforge is in the next area. So we can go do it. Maybe try and get another Umrune or something. But it's also, you know, it can be kind of tough. This is a little dangerous. Super fast, immune to physical. This is a tough plane to despair for us. So we'll see where Isual is. And if we can, if there's a lot of crap around him or not. Let's make sure to damage them and lower down the health or their damage and the defense, so they don't just murder you instantly. Battle cry is really hugely important. 
then if you want, you can even get Waheed focusing on Ishwal so that he's doing the right damage to the right dude instead of just killing random guys. Teleporting your mercenary around can always be a fabulous idea. Just like that, easy Ishwal kill. Easy. Well, he and me doing the deeps, man. Hal goes off of FCR. Now, this is War Cry, but same thing. Goes off FCR. So we got two more. Let's just put more into Taunt. Continue boosting our damage up. That's just worth a lot to me right now. Yeah, I know. He's like a machine gun. I know, right? That's why I actually love this weapon. It's good damage, but also 40 IAS, so Waheed's just like, wham, 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 wham. He's just whacking dudes left and right. It's crazy. You're like, whoa, who's that? Who's this? Look at that. Ugh, ugh, ugh. He's, he's so fast. That's my boy, Waheed. So yeah, getting him a nice faster weapon is definitely helpful. Okay, so not a huge fan of uh, the river. There's a lot of stuff that'll kill me and target Waheed as well. So we're just gonna kind of run forward, try and get to the end of it ASAP, so we can at least get the waypoint. And then if we want to do like, okay, maybe we'll come back here. Stun some dudes. Remember, we have a five second stun. And nope, not going to be over here. Dead end. Excuse me. But. If we get this upgraded and another Ral rune, we can make another caster Ami and try and roll something better. What do you need? Hail to you, champion. Let's go back to the river. Let's go the other way. See what we can get over here. Close one here. I need you, buddy. Oh no, he's immune to physical. All right, well. If he rolls stone skin, you're screwed, so you just gotta reset it. And it's actually closer to the city. So let's just go this way. Ah, oh, we got mana burners here. Oh, Midora. Oh no! I forgot he's not glitched. Sorry. Sorry, Waheed. You have to re-glitch every time you re-enter the game. Waheed, come over here. Okay. Beautiful. Alright, now we're good to go. Oh 
Oh boy. Alright. He's got lightning. Hopefully... Well, he can tank it, and I can tank it. Hang in there, Wahid. There you go, buddy. You just gotta get him on the right, right spot, you know. Just gotta make sure he's focusing who you need him to focus. Ow. Festo is hard to kill. I like that I also have cold damage from Duras. It's super, super helpful. And Grotesque are also insane to try and kill. They're just like ridiculous, so don't even bother. Treachery Merce? I don't have Treachery. highest. <sighs> that one. Doesn't do anything, though. I guess half of a Vex rune? So if we get a second one, we can make Vex and go for Hodo, though we'd need a pull. We are just super rigged on our forges today. Scripted! I know. This run pre-recorded confirmed. What can I say? Yeah, that's the highest possible. And I'm as the highest possible from Nightmare, and that's what we got there. But we got F from normal, so we didn't get highest there. Let's go turn in our uh, quest really fast to get our bonus life. So, yeah, unfortunately, goal rune doesn't really do anything. But like I say, if you get two goal runes, you make a vex rune on your way to a hodo, and a hodo would be fantastic for this character. Get those skills, get those res, get the, I mean, FCR. It's just a fantastic item. So, am is the highest you'll get from normal. Let's do one more round. Do a repair here. Yeah, we could do lower cross to try and get that pull rune. So I'm just gonna like teleport my way into the Chaos yeah, Sanctuary, just cause I'm lazy and don't feel like running all the way there much easier way to do it here. Once again, if they're standing too far away, just taunt them in so they come up next to you. Because mana burners are just going to be awful to deal with. And you don't even have to fight them. Just let your mercenary kill everything, you know? You can just stun them and then your merc will go to town. Thanks, buddy. Now we do want to be a little careful with uh, Oblivion Knights though, right? Okay, goals are over here, or Wahid, to help me out. His Holy Freeze Aura also really helps. On top of being able to just kill things. So you can either go deep like or go like this or you just kind of clear out the chaos and you take it safe. Or you can try and be a little more aggressive and you know, alright, well let's run past that, right? I've stunned up those monsters. Let's run past, let's get in on these guys. 
Let's get the mana burn close to us and just like clear this area out, do the boss. Go over there, clear that area out, do the boss. So just however you want to handle it, right? As always. You can always play as fast or as slow as you want in Diablo 2, and that's one of the really nice things about the game. If you feel unsafe, get more gear. Get more damage. Get more resistances. Get more levels. Blah, blah, blah. Not enough mana. What do you need? Okay, so now we'll come here. And yeah. He's immune to physical, no! Let's see if Waheed can still do enough damage to him. It's the one thing we didn't need, man. Maybe Waheed with his cold damage can do something? Probably not. Ah. He's actually doing it. Good job, Waheed. Get him. He's got cold damage on his weapons and stuff, so... He's on YouTube? Interesting. I guess until they figure out what legal thing happened or something. Yeah, we can minus defense. Well, no, we can't because he's immune to physical. Never mind. I don't think Battle Cry works. Cool. Thank you, Waheed. Good job, buddy. I am overburdened. So yeah, I mean, just from having the 37 to 133 cold damage right there, it's enough to whittle him down. So one of the cool parts about this character is you can literally go stand in the middle of everything once you tank up enough. Well, he is dying, so I'm gonna let him die. Too many Oblivion Knights that we didn't clear out, unfortunately. That's the danger of leaving too many Oblivion Knights alive. Because they will focus him. So. Gotta try and kill him off. Hey, Donna, say no. Get in between these two dudes, and we're good to go. Nothing can hurt us. Cool. And let's go bug Wahid again.
Get some potions. And let's go. Yeah, many things are just going to be stun and walk away. Don't don't waste your time fighting and everything there. Just stun it. Oh god. The Sace is really annoying. Oh, he's triple. Multi-shot extra fast is super annoying. Just does so much damage so fast. Because he just he shoots faster too when he's extra fast, so. It just turns into an absolute nightmare so quickly. Thankfully, we've got him pretty pinned here, so he can't run away from us. So, I do need to level up to 60, so I honestly don't mind standing here killing a few more of these minions and stuff. Gross one, good money, potential. try and drag them in. Don't let them just stand back and mana burn you or you're just not going to have a good time at all. If you have three, four of these guys mana burning you, you're just completely screwed. Like, you'll never ever get any cast off. Maybe once every like five seconds. It's terrible. So really taunting those guys in does a lot. Chopper handle, handle higher players. It, I mean, yes and no. Like, it'll be really difficult right now. You need a lot more, like, plus skills and stuff to do anything with that. So right now, I would not recommend doing anything at a higher players. But, like, you know, I did higher player count through some of Nightmare. I do 423 to 450 damage per cast. That's okay. Clear this out. And go prep. Can also be a pretty uh, dangerous boss, especially if you don't have a lot of fire res. I can't care. Shout Barb do? Uh, probably like 2 to 3k. Would be my guess. So they can do alright still, you know. You're maxed out on all of your damage plus a bunch of plus to skills. I mean, I still think the biggest benefit of this character so much isn't really the damage, but just, like, look at the survivability. I'm literally standing in the middle of Infector at level 59, right? Like, what, what characters...
can stand at level 59 in the middle of Infector. Not a lot. <laughs> Not even hey, a Nephrin! We can make Black Runeward finally. We did it. So now we come up here and we stand close. And once again, I want to be on the opposite side of, of my mercenary. Right? And I also want to be close enough so that when he breathes lightning, it goes over my head. Like that. And you can see how far out it starts. It's crazy. No, Wahid, leave the bone, leave the bone prison alone. Oh my god. Wahid. So that's the one thing that I have to try and tank. Is this fire if I just want to stay close here? Wahid, I'm helping. Right? No, Wahid, don't fall for the trap again. <sighs> the decoy. I'm gonna reset my TP over here so that he, if he does see Lehara, it. would never do what Wahid is doing. Hashtag Team Leharis. Oh, okay. Team Leharis over there. Yeah, we're just gonna move the TP away from Wahid so he stays focused on the, the primary objective. Shout him off. Finish it. GG. How nifty was that? A little Stone Raven action. Eternal suffering would be too brief for you. Twenty-four hit recovery. That's nice. Not nice enough. Nothing on the coronet. Just straight up yelled him to death. Welcome to Diablo 2. Shout barb. Greetings. Hey Long, how you doing? What do you need? And let's do this. Beautiful. Beautiful. We still have an embossed plate to get rid of. Beautiful. We get our split in. And Thal Io Nef. We're going to go back to normal. Good go to Farah. And shop ourselves a three open socket flail really fast. I mean, really, a pretty solid run, once again, considering we started as a throw barbarian. <laughs> a 
through normal. We're not turning on shop. Okay. Never mind. Kulu say Pelokan Tati Jalakani Poji Kutkuti Ayevan IT say Taitu Savati Von Kilahan Yevasen Jutkuti Silla A Maida Siloin Kilo Haida Kumayo Tansini Lyasta Lightong. Right. I need more dexterity as well to use this. I should just use a Grand Scepter, a little bit slower attack speed, but I have the requirements for it. Not a Rainbow Barb, but a little bit like it. Alright, so normally I'd say put this in a flail, but I don't have 35 decks, and I only have one level to go, and so I'm just going to do it this way. Thal, Io, Neff. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Will it not work in a Grand Scepter? Oof. All right, well don't do it in a Grand Scepter then. Do it in a flail. Clubs, hammers, maces. <sighs> I forget that scepters are mace class, but not maces. Might as well get the gold from it. Ah. <sighs> We suck again! Oh no! We suck again! Oh no, okay. we suck again. Alright, so don't follow Mr. Llama's lead on that one. The time has come to You can make malice, I believe, in a scepter, right? Yeah. That's what I was thinking of. Uh, I was thinking of malice. Because malice is any melee weapon. Because I've made malice in the scepter before. Oh, oops. I don't know why the timer was stopped. It's okay. We have our strength. The black is not necessary. Right? It would have just given us a little bit more... Um, crushing blow. So, from 25% to 40%. A little bit nicer. But, uh... You know. Don't... This is why I'm showing it to you guys. Of what not to do. That's what that guide was right there. a guide than a speedrun world record exactly so you can see I even I'm not immune to error it happens it says mace and you think oh yes black can go in a mace but you forget scepters are a mace class but not a mace 
you know? It's, it's the small things in this game. Ah, oh, darn it, he's stone skin. That's annoying. And he's got regen going. I'm guessing we'll just leave him be and come back. I mean, Wahid's doing great, man. Uh oh. Burning archers. Okay, we'll reset. Try and get a better spawn out there. to always bug with heat either. By the way, this is another fantastic place for leveling. So anybody out there who's looking for good level potential, once again, just like in Nightmare, you can just come to hell and do the exact same thing. Another fantastic place to level up. Did I have anything I was trying to grab specifically? I think I wanted one in Sword Mastery. Just because I am using the sword there. The time has come to quit. So that'll help with my scimitar just to make it hit a little bit easier on agents. Rune's not ACC sceptered. Rune word denied. Skeptical smiley face. Rune not acceptored. No, it was not. Dude, Wahid is just pounding dudes like I have never seen before. It is amazing. Great job, Wahid. Okay, good. He's not stone skin this time. To what level will Eldritch be viable? I mean, pretty far. Like, what level is Eldritch? Probably like... 80? I would imagine. Close to there. So you can farm him to 80 plus if you really wanted to. I mean, I'd probably be doing bail runs and stuff at that point. Thank you, Dan the man. But 84, yeah. I mean, there you go. You can farm him up to 89 with without losing any experience gain on him. Where to farm experience 90 plus? You want to farm boss groups in 95 areas, or you can just go farm. Uh, Whatever it, that uh, thing is that I was gonna mention but forgot. Good afternoon. The siege is broken. Ooh, an Aegis. You can make a spirit in this. One of three non-paladin shields that can get four open sockets. Unfortunately, it's 219 strength. So, <laughs> if you want to do that. Be my guess. You can't get spirit in single player though without a mod of some sort or runes.txt or anything like that. Chaos and Bale are also great for 90 plus, exactly. I don't trust you with runes anymore. It's fair. Let us out. Guess and tea. I mean, it's just, it's better than other areas, I guess, Emroy. Like, it's never great, but better than. So now I have level 60. For me personally, that's all I need because I'm just 
going to end at 61, right? After doing Ancients. Um, maybe 62, 63, because this character's actually okay against uh, the uh, Bale Waves. He can actually kind of do okay. Um, but... Also, if you want, you can do your resistance quests here. Save Anya. Obviously a little difficult, but it is a thing. Is it worth it to keep Hell Ancients alive to level 89 and then kill them? Um, it's actually worth it to keep them if you want to. It depends where you want to go. If you want to go to level 99, it's actually worth it to, to keep them until level 99 or level 98. Uh, you won't go to 99, but it'll give you 20% of the experience without penalty towards 99, which is an insane amount. So it'll save you like a thousand bail runs or something insane. Otherwise, eh, just do it whenever. It's not really worth saving it. Only if you're trying to get to 99 is it really worth saving. That's the llama recommendation. Otherwise, do it when you, you know, mid 70s, whatever, you're, you're gonna be fine then. But, you know, level 89 to level 90 is not like that many bail runs or anything, so it's not, it's not a ton of time saved. Oop, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, mercenary. Okay, so I'm just going to get this waypoint just for safety purposes. They give one level or or one level up to a maximum a maximum of experience basically. So it's like 50 million I think on hell. So if, if it's more than 50 million then you don't get the level. You just get the 50 million. Okay, let me go to the bathroom real fast, and then we'll come back for Ancients. Okay. Um, potions. Put our Wash on. your hands. Harry gets a Corona free and aims to keep it that way. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> For her, I guess. Uh, okay. Let's get Wahid. I guess we'll wait till we actually get to the ancients. What about Ancients Norman Nightmare? Sure. So technically, Ancients Normal is 2 million experience. Ancients Nightmare is 20 million experience. And Ancients Hell is 50 million experience. I believe those are the numbers. Um, so if you save all of those until you get to Hell, like, and hit 98, that's a lot of experience that you can get immediately. You need, like, you know, 279 million experience or something to go to 99. And, uh, so that's a, a big start for you. 1.4, 20, 40. Okay, I was slightly wrong. Apologies. 
Still 61.4 million experience. Also, happy birthday. It's a lot of runs. Because you get like 60, 60 to 70,000 experience per bail run. Thank you, Dan. With players 3 bail. Which is max out experience bail. Uh, let's save a couple potions here. Yeah, so it's it's like a thousand bail runs saved. So that is a strategy. You do a classic character through, you convert it once you hit hell, and then you just go to Act Four Hell Chaos, and you just kind of like farm through there. Easy way to do it. Mm -hmm. I left my wand on the ground. Let's go pick it up, actually. Okay. Okay, I don't want Curse, Lightning, Enchanted. Um, no Stone Skin. Mana burn is kind of annoying, but not the end of the world. Extra strong curves. Okay, this is probably fine right here. So we're once again going to do this. Pray that our mercenary doesn't die on the spin around from Talik. Oh, gosh dang it. can even keep our mercenary over there. Ah, Talek's gonna spin and push Korlik, isn't he? Oh, he didn't. Okay. I need Is Talek getting hit right now? Because he's standing on the wrong spot. Oh god. Don't move. <sighs> the issue when your character accidentally moves. Hate to see it. <laughs> Hate to see it. It's okay. We'll just run back. We have all our potions on the ground still. So these potions last for, I think, 10 minutes on the ground? So... You can always just refresh them if you need to. Yeah, moving, moving sucks. So to refresh them, you just pick them up and throw them on the ground again. And it resets the timer. You can just do this. I can't carry anymore. I am overburdened. I can't carry anymore. I am overburdened. Okay. I've done everything with my source on the Holy Grail, yeah. Okay, let's get Waheed. Afternoon. Ugh. I mean, Talik did a lot of damage in that. Cursed was... That's why I also don't really like Cursed. Because then he's just going to like do so much damage. It's really difficult. But I figured if I was standing in place, it would have been mildly okay. And that's what I was kind of going for. Is bugging necessary for the Ancients? Like keeping them away and stuff? No, nah, I mean, you can, you can do without it if I you really want. I actually want to repair my stuff real fast. So my mercenary will get one shot if I don't, but I can still like separate them off and fight them one by one on my own. The mercenary is just kind of an added bonus, but not 100% necessary. I don't want fanaticism aura. Fire enchant extra strong, spectrit stone skin, don't want stone skin. 
Uh, Holy Freeze isn't super fun. Curse. Spectral hit extra fast. Just go! Why do you double back? I don't understand this game sometimes, man. The pathing in the Ancients is so buggy. So here's the real issue with it. Whenever Korlik leaps, as soon as he leaps in the air, wherever his landing zone is, gets locked as if he is already there. So you can no longer move into the spot where he is going to land. And so it just gets so buggy, so you think you're running into an open space, but then your character doubles back on themselves because Korlik was going to land here and there's no longer a, a route over there. It's super annoying. Anyways, being slightly leveled higher here will help. Yes. Okay. No more deaths. Two unfortunate deaths of just massive damage. Let's go. Time to kill some ancients. Stone skin. No stone skin allowed. Lightning enchanted. Don't want fanaticism. Mana burn, spectral hit, stone skin. Because trying to kill stone skin just takes like a year. It's so terrible. Mana burn, magic res, fire enchant. Okay. I think this is doable. The mana burn's gonna be annoying again. Get everybody down here. Do this. And so he'll stay over there and fight those guys. I will go over here and fight these guys. Together, we'll both kill them. Me killing Talik. Him killing Madoc. I think he's lightning enchanted, isn't he? Well, the good news is I'm not hitting him enough, so... Once Shout wears off, we'll both do a lot more damage. And hit them more often. That's always the problem, is the shout is just so brutal. So getting him away really helps, because as soon as that wears off, you just do so much better. Come on. Hey, I am doing plenty of damage. Look at that. Me and Wahid are basically tied. Okay, he's a little bit ahead, but I'm a catch up. Not enough mana. And shout is almost worn off. Any second now, it'll wear off. I also have to deal with mana burn, to be fair, which is super unfair. Just to make note. Alright, Chow. You are overstaying your welcome right now. Nice. Good hit. Yeah, well, he doesn't even need mana. That's unfair. Nice! Look at those hits. I bet I've surpassed Waheed. Okay, almost.
There we go. See, now, now you can see. Now that it's finally off, the shout is off, now we hit, like, three times as much. It just does so much. It's absolutely ridiculous how much shout increases their defenses and makes it impossible to hit them. What sucks is I can't really finish Talik off very well because he's mana burn. So this is why normally without this mercenary, I wouldn't do any mana burn because I need all my mana so I can finish them. So yeah, I'll probably just let Wiki do it for for this exactly. I need my... Yeah, with battle cry and no shout, his defense drops enough that we can actually do okay damage. So. Stealth to use this. Stealing his gear. Wahid and I agreed that we would share gear with each other sometimes. That's all. I can't. Wahid. Wahid, come on. What are you doing, man? Do you not see him? Wahid, he's right. Sorry. My goodness, buddy. Come on. So you can do this where you just let Wahid handle it, or you can join in yourself as well. Up to you. Shouts on. need like a tiny moment for Shout to wear off. And then we can both just crush him. I can probably switch into Shouting pretty soon though.
gonna have a fire enchant explosion. Beautiful. And just like that, ancients are dead. No worries whatsoever. No troubles at all. We'll go taunt, vitality, keep the same up. And now, let's just find this waypoint. Very crucial waypoint to find. As if not, you have to go through all that again. You obviously don't have to kill the Ancients again, but it's still just a hassle to run through the Ancients' way and go through level 1 and 2 and all of that. 3, throne room, all of that. So, don't bother with it. Just uh, get yourself to the waypoint. And of course, use your stuns where necessary to help yourself survive these tricky places. Okay, level two. Feel free to knock curses off as well. Good afternoon. Also at this point, having a line or two lines for rejuves is super helpful. I'm not doing it because I'm kind of lazy, but Highly recommended, just for when you get in those really tough situations, you want to pop it on real fast. Cool, we got the waypoint, very nice. Give Wahid a raise, he is paid very handsomely for his position. It's a competitive salary within the industry. Oh god. Not a mercenary speed run. Has the mercenary done a little bit here and there? Sure. But, I mean, we've done majority. Yeah, it's a lump sum contract, exactly. Hey, a lot of people would love to get paid up front. If your job was like, hey, here's a million dollars for the next 40 years of work, we'll just give it to you now instead of then, would you take it? Of course you would. That's a much better way to do it. Oh, these dudes are actually awful. I hope we don't have a lot of them. So Dark Lords are like massive, super hard to kill. So let's go ahead and kill a couple snakes here. Kind of bring everything in, but like, look at how hard it is to kill. A serpent just died, and a dark lord hasn't taken any health loss whatsoever. So, the nice thing is, you can drag them because you have taunt, and that helps a ton, right? So, let's kill the Haradrim. Then we're just gonna drag everything else. You could even drag the Haradrims. And I mean, you can sit there and kill them, but they are literally, I mean, it is the longest kill ever. They're like one of the worst monsters to try and kill. So they're basically all stone skin, so. Oh no, he didn't drag. Okay, well we can kill one of them because we have our mercenary here. And so, with the crushing blow, we should be able to whittle him down. I just need to make sure I get decrepified and not my mercenary. Okay. 
Wave one down. Or coming up, I should say. Like I said before, this is actually a pretty pretty decent at the bail waves. This character actually holds up okay. It's not game over if Waheed gets decrepified. We gotta make sure we get in there and stun for Waheed or it's game over. Well, not game. I didn't mean game over. When I say game over, I mean like for him. He's dying. So another wave that once again, if you want to drag, feel free to do a drag on it. Like, shout its physical damage. So you can drag this wave, you can kill them, whatever you really want to do. Also, if we had black, we could use the corpse explosion, explosion charges there. And that would have uh, made this super easy, right? You just blow up all the skellies and then it's over, so. Isn't this faster than my PB? I hope not. Regardless, it's split up, so. Oh no, he got decrepified. That's okay. I'll shout him down. Alright, let's see if we can get it so they don't cast any Hydras. Okay, one Hydra. Not bad. Two Hydras. A little bit worse. Waheed! Oh, nice. He leveled up. Atta boy, Waheed. Clutch level up. Ah, Almost. Almost, buddy. That mana burn is nasty. It's okay. I'll finish the job. The people's champion, Mr. Llama, will finish this. Archon plate, oof. Sadness. All right, let's bring him back and see how he does without being bugged. See if he can hold his own. Right here. So yeah, I mean, you can actually take the waves out pretty well. Sunlock's real. I mean, yeah, you don't even have to 
be like fast on this character to stun lock. As long as you cast once every five seconds, right? Huh. Huh. So that's kind of, I think, the natural, weird natural intent of this spell is that you make, you know, some sort of hybrid, right? So you have it like this. Cast, hit, hit, hit. Obviously, the crypt fight not as well. Hit, hit, hit. Right, like, that's, that's how the, the character's kind of meant. I think from, in, intended to be played from the, the developers, but... Guy ends up working out to just shout all the way, man. Thank you, Agama. Oh no, he's stun skin. So, if you want to take the time to kill all those dudes, you can. Otherwise, let he die and just drag him out. Especially a stone skin lister. I just don't have that much interest in spending that time. We're going to pay him to come back. He's okay. We need to bug him. No. Bug him for Bale, so Bale's not a big meanie. Help me! Wahid, more like Wahud. Ra 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 ha ho, ra 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 ri a. And, uh. Bail time. Been on a two month corona vacation. How you been, Lama? What up? Dang, man. He is not going easy here. Need to like chill, get some life back. That was that was very nasty. How you doing, Zap? Goodness gracious! A man can't stop. Finally! All right, there we go. Oh, that still hits with heed. Hey, don't fall for the decoys, man. Come on. We've had this discussion many times. Your eyes on the prize. It's uh, a lot of things. Need help. How do I make Llama drop equipped again? Doesn't happen. Thank you. Thank you Gunner. Get him. Get him, Wahid. Stay focused. No, Wahid. Stay focused. Thanks. 
So Hal Bale is a little bit of a tough kill at the very end when you're trying to shout him. You really want to like blast him down pretty much as much as you can. Curious? Like crushing blow him down to his jimmies. Come on, frames, what you doing? Sorry for the frame drops. Try and keep Wahid focused. Dang it. Just on my side. T3 subs get all the frames? Yeah. That's Let's go. You can actually shout the festering appendages down pretty quickly, so. It's a way to deal with them in the future. Almost time to start shouting at him. Like I say, he is really not good for like shouting though. Getting him really low before you start shouting is uh, definitely a good option. Yeah, you can do this without the mercenary, it's just like a little faster if you have a mercenary. No, Wahid, we're going up here. Focus, buddy. Okay. We can start shouting now. sliver of HP on Bale is no joke. This is with me shouting and Wahid hitting him. And there you go, everybody. Wow, what a terrible drop. The Shout Barbarian. So, let's do an overview of the character. We have this wand with 111 to mana. I just bought this. I like to just buy a wand with 100 mana, whatever it is. Um, one to all skills, 10 energy, 30 light res, or lore. Lore is a fantastic, fantastic item for this character. 37 to mana amulet. I never really found great amulets, and so that's the one I have. I guess I have that one ami. Is it level 63 required? Yeah. 26 strength, 11 all res, but that's level 63. I'm only 62. Um, Moser's was a very nice find, so I shoved 2p diamonds into it. Get 63 all res. A little bit better than an Ancient's Pledge. Stealth, obviously for stealth purposes. FCR, FHR, FRW, um, the mana, right? 25 MF, 9 light res, 15 to mana. Once again, not like fantastic items this run for a lot of our gear. 
14 to energy. Pretty trash. Um, 30 res. Okay, but still not amazing. No 10 FCR on any of my gear, any of my jewelry. So that hurts. Nice booties. Chance for Ross Nova is nice. Run walk hit recovery. Lightning res is nice. And then a belt that we just shopped. That's pretty nice. High life and then some fire res on it as well. So there's that stuff. Um, in the stash, we've just got like a weapon to maybe give Waheed later. Some IK boots. Uh, and a helm to maybe give Waheed later. A gull rune. Some random junk. Not really anything amazing though. And then a strength. Obviously for crushing blow, teleport, and then we gave him uh, this for just quick attack speed, chance to hit, damage. Duris for crushing blow and some cold damage, and then this helm to get him some fire and light res. Pretty simple. Skill tree and stats. Um, let's look at our energy totals that we have. So let me take off my gear. And we'll just do all that. So I have 49 energy, so I put some points into energy and then obviously got a little bit more later. 65 to strength. Nothing in dex, but maybe you put a little bit so you can use that black flail. 35. And then the rest in vitality. Uh, skill tree, we have 20 here, 20 here, 9 here, 9 here, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And I have two. I have this one here because I'm using Strength and a Scimitar. If I was using the Black Flail, I'd have one in Mace Mastery. Um, one, 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 one. You can also put one in Leap Attack if you want that. Leap was good enough for me, though. And Concentrate. Just because it, it's un 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 uninterruptible. So a lot better for attacking the bosses. Um, and then I put two here to get a little bit extra resistance. But, obviously, with all of our stuff on... You can see our res are pretty good. And then, of course, after that, um, yeah. So, just really nice resistances. And uh, good energy, almost 500 mana. So that's very helpful on a, a spell that costs 31 mana every time. And you can shout through pretty quickly. And yeah, that is... I am overburdened. The Hell Shout Barbarian. Patriarch Shout Barbie. How neat is that? I got the Emperor from Nightmare Forge. So, the actual record for this character is like 9 hours or something. 8.30... Thank you, broski. Mwah. So we could chase after it someday. We could chase after it. Join my army of the dead. Okay, frenzy and shout. Great. <laughs> Next bar better be spinny spinny or we riot. Okay. Mr. Llama Rage. Gotcha. A gift for you. Yay. Patriarch Wahid. <laughs> That's right. Thanks, TT. Thanks, bro. Does anyone ever do duo speedruns? Not really. I mean, I've done a couple of them, but we do eight-man speedruns. But we rarely do, like, two-player. So. Yeah, so that's the character. He's actually a fun character. And once again, if you get some spirit swords or an insight if you're on ladder or you're playing with Pluggy or whatever, he's a lot better. If you can get up, you know, get Hodos maybe running, dual Hodos. If you're running, you know, plus the skills, armor, Enigma. You're running, you know, a Shaco, SOJs, Arachnid Mesh, all of these FCR, mana, um, you know, whatever items like... He can actually be, you know, you can get up to 2k plus damage and and be really fast, good FCR, um, and, and just kind of, like, murder everything, right? So, it's not a terrible endgame character at all, with some gear, obviously. But even right there, you saw, he's not a terrible, like, endgame character even without gear. I'm level 62, and... 
he does all right. Yeah, five battle cry helms probably better. You're right, or war cry. Um, so you know, like he actually does all right, just like that. Do I have a ninety-five barb to show it? Not on here. Um, we could do. Good day. Okay. Max them out. Oh, I don't have stuff in my shared stash though. Now we'd have we, we we can go over and get it from my sorceress and put it over here. Uh, sure, do the yay elite point if you want any there. And I don't know. What do you do with the rest of the points? Probably don't even need that or that. Whatever. We have the battle command point. No, you can't shift click to max a skill. Um, okay, so let's go here. go here so what would be best on this character I don't know if I have a battle command helmet two to war cries three to battle orders with 33 to life that's a BO helmet not really a BC helmet um, let's see in our helmet section oh everything I have is ethereal one to war cries Okay, so we can use Wolf Howl, I suppose. Where's my Ariats? It's two to Barb, two to Combat with all res and everything. It's a little less damage, but probably a lot better. One to Battle Command, two to Battle Orders. I mean, all these are BO and stuff, but just okay. Where's my Ariats at? Oh, there. Um, okay. So let's just give them Ariats, I guess. Maybe Chain of Honor. Doesn't Help really matter. Me. Nice hell run. Thank you. Uh, BK sounds good. Let's grab an SOJ as well. Appreciate that, Atus. 666. Six, six. Um, let's grab him. I don't think I have two Hodos, to be honest. Probably only made one. Could just give him spirits. God, where are my hodos even at? Malice. A gift for you, Mr. Llama Drama. I know I have one, right? <clears throat> Don't I have one that I used to use before? Throw full IK on him. Dot for the aura. Ah, yes. Where did I put it? Oh my god. What do we have? 
Uh, I mean, I guess we can give him a spirit shield. No, it's not on a different character. It should be on this character. I thought it would be on my 20 page. I thought it was going to be right here. Join my army of the dead. Next stream, Mang Song. Stash sorting stream. Next stream, Mang Song. I hope so. Okay, well, I don't know where I went, so let's just give him that spirit sword we had. Sure. And SOJs, let's give him an Iraq. Iraq, spirit. Spirit, SOJ, COH, Trangs would be good. Um, boots, doesn't really matter. I mean, you, you could give them whatever. And let's give them Amaras, I guess. We'll give them a perfect. When you want Enigma, sure, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, we're just kind of messing around. Why don't I keep it all in shared stash? I don't know, because I'm lazy. Spirit. We'll need more strength. Necro torture. Mara's strings. Help me. Okay. What would Marie Kondo so say about the state of your stash? Remember to ask each item if it sparks joy and thank them before you send them away. That's right. Make plenty of room for Mang songs. Actually, we can do spirit, spirit. All right, it's a very brief overview without a lot of any extra stuff. This is just kind of random crap. about 1300 damage without a barbed torch without an annie without um pretty much anything really no barbed torch no annihilus no war cry gcs uh missing probably a couple levels that you could get from war cry up in ariat's face or if you had like a five to war cry helmet missing damage from that um, everything else I think is pretty max. Oh, we don't have Hodos, so we don't have three doll skills. And no... I guess you don't use CTA, so... Yeah. So there's still plenty missing right here. But this barb would be able to do decent. This is kind of a basic rundown of, like, something that you could run, though, right? A pretty cheap, easy... Um way to make him half end game viable. So, not bad at all. Anyways, Hoda Wiz Pike. Yeah, I mean, if you want extra FCR mana. Like, once again, you're going to be maxing all these things to their exact spots that you want and stuff. FCR, you only need to go to 105, though, remember. So you should be totally fine between, like, Trangs, Iraq, and a couple Hodos. You know, like, you, you should be able to get there pretty easily. I mean, cheap, right? Like, it's not crazy expensive for all that stuff. You can you can get a lot of that. It's not like I'm demanding you to make, like, bodits and stuff. Like Vex runes for Hodos, or you know, the biggest thing is that Chain of Honor. But you could also just run like a Viper Magi. Uh, Enigma would be nice, but 
yeah. All sorts of stuff. So the Burr rune is, is really the only expensive piece of that. But a lot of that gear is interchangeable. It's You're just getting plus to skills. That's the main thing. Just plus your skills up and you'll be good to go. So anyway, excuse me. I am going to head off for today. Um, I need I need to just chill a little bit. I'm going to be playing Diablo 2 with Rebecca and Jesse on Saturday. So we will have some fun then. I will see you guys on Saturday. Thank you all for being here, though. Mwah! I hope you enjoyed the finishing part of the uh, guide. And it'll be up on YouTube starting soon. Starting soon. Probably tomorrow I'll upload it, I think. So have a wonderful rest of your day. Let's go hang with Wagga. He's a cool guy. Playing They Are Billions today. Bye, everybody. Thanks for being here.